Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. We're still working on our month of June, which is perfect because, like I said, I think this is a great week to catch up on June. I would have done this a few days earlier, but July was kind of crazy and with the holiday and there was a lot going on, um, I didn't really have my July prepped as early as I wanted to, so that put me a little behind in the June reconciliation. So one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is this monthly goals sheet that comes in the monthly budget kits. So I don't know if everybody's using those, but I decided that I was going to commit to using these sheets and see where I landed at the end of each month and create a bit of loftier goals for myself as each month goes along. So in some of these, this is pretty basic because this is the first month I've been doing it. It's basically like setting things up and things like that. But I really want to create attainable goals for myself. You know, ones that are a little bit challenging, but that I know I'm able to do if I buckle down and put my mind to it. So for budget, I wanted to add $500 to our general savings sinking fund. Did that. In fact, I have $1,050 at the end of June and I'm still adding to it. I wanted to start our Christmas club fund and start our Black Friday weekend fund. So I am going to be able to color. Let me pick a color. Um, I'm gonna be able to highlight actually each one of these that I was able to achieve. So all three of these. And like I said, try this out. Even try it for just two months and see if it helps you. See if it helps you stay on track. Check in with it, you know, halfway through the month. Look back at this page and see where you are with what you set for yourself and the progress that you're making. And if you haven't started or you're nowhere near these goals, maybe it can help kick it into overdrive. You know, it's just use it as a motivational tool. So for health goals, I wanted to make sure that I attended two therapy sessions and no buying lunch at work and take electrolytes. So I have electrolyte powder and that's super important to me. And I definitely did this. I definitely did this, but I know there was a couple days that I didn't get my electrolyte powder in. So I'm not gonna highlight that. For home goals, um, order windows. So that's one that I added later and you can do that. So if halfway through the month, you're like, hey, what what have I already done? How can I back plan or back set goals for myself? Because I want to take credit for it. And I want to say, you know, be able to check it off and still have it be motivating to me. Do that. That's fine. Um, so ordering windows, we did that um, during the month of June. Um, start new piles for garage sale. I've done this a couple times. I've started new piles and then I ended up taking it to Goodwill. So I really do want to go through with the garage sale because summer is waning and I want to at least do one big sale and then paint mom's room. So we did all of those. And like I said, ordering windows was kind of a back plan, um, but it was a good one. All right, and lastly, um, the last category is work goals. So I wanted to start a new fiscal project sheet and that's just a Google sheet that we use to track um, our production schedule and um, staff reviews and annual report. So starting the new fiscal project sheet, yes. In a report, yes. Did I do the reviews for everybody? No. So I won't be able to check that off, but will I add that to July? I might because it's still something that I need to do and it's something that I need to be able to say that I did at some point. So I just need to stick to it. But anyways, um, not too bad. I had two that I wasn't able to achieve but I think overall this is pretty good and it's pretty motivating for me so if you haven't already started using this sheet bust it out get it out start using it um, because it can definitely be a good tool to keep you on track not just with your budgeting and your finances but with life in general so um, if these categories don't work for you cross them out create your own categories you know do whatever works for you and um, let me know how your progress is going and I'll see you guys next time